Hello everybody, this is JD. Yes, JD, running for president, 2012. This video is really for Donald Trump. What it has to do is what I've seen in the news about Donald Trump. And it really, really is kind of disturbing. Donald Trump, first understand, you're a great man and you have a lot of experience. And I'd love to have you as my vice president. Believe me, you have no idea how much I would love to have it. But understand, if you become my vice president, you better plan on being president. Because the vice president's goal is to become president. My job as president, one of them, is to ensure that you do. Now, why is this directed to you? Actually, I would love either Sarah Palin or Donald Trump to be my vice president, above all else. We can do so much together. But Donald Trump, get off of this thing on Obama's birth certificate. Understand, in due good time, everything will be handled. I mean everything, including that matter. There's a lot more to consider when you go into that birth certificate. First, leave it alone. Let Obama serve out his term. 2012 is the time during the campaign. You may bring up the question of it, but it's really not the bulk of what needs to be handled. There's a much greater problem. First, understand, the president behind Obama if it's the one that's sworn in after an election, can't sign everything he signed. You'll have to go back to Congress if it turns out he's fraudulent. Whereas right now, Joe Biden, if Obama's declared fraudulent, will just pen and ink everything he did. And that will be legal. <clears throat> but because in 2013, <clears throat> the next president was actually elected, Everything has to go back to Congress, has to go through Congress again, if Obama is declared fraudulent. Obama will have to stay in trial for fraud and nothing else, because that's all he committed. He lied about his, his birthplace. That's fraud. And that is minor compared to what really actually happened. Now you may say, whoa, wait a minute, that's a president who, it's minor compared to what actually happened. Something much more serious than a fraudulent statement by Obama had happened. Extremely serious. <clears throat> See, there's people responsible to uphold the Constitution above all else. And the Constitution states they must be born. That position rests on two people more than anybody else in the whole country. Speaker of the House and Senate Majority Leader. They are to ensure each and everything about our government is in accordance with the Constitution. So what does that mean? That means Nancy Pelosi and Harry Reid, by not fully investigating Obama's birth certificate, committed treason to the Constitution. Not only treason, high treason, because it was very well known there was questions. And they totally cho choose to ignore it for their political party. In other words, these two individuals placed the Democratic Party above the Constitution. An act of high treason, and that was done during wartime. <clears throat> but remember, like I said, everything in due good time. My daughter Jillian says, Dad, leave that alone right now. <clears throat> After you get become president, you can do what you need to do. But leave it alone. And that's what I'm doing. Donald Trump, that's what I'm telling you. His birth certificate matter. Everything will be done in due good time. Our nation needs to know the leader to follow probably one of the very, very worst presidents we have ever had, is strong, is very well disciplined, and believes in the people, above all else. Feels what the people feel. Know what the people endure. And above all else, places the people 
before anything else. The people of this nation. See, the problem they're having in Congress now is they're saying the Tea Party, the Tea Party, the Tea Party. It's not the Tea Party that makes, is making the problem. It's what the Tea Party actually represents. The Tea Party represents the people. We are so upset with our Congress that we do not wish to be called Republicans. We do not wish to be called Democrats. So they chose Tea Party. But that's the will of the people. And Congress does not hear it yet. They're going to need a president to stand up there and say, Look, I'm representing the people, and only the people. I don't give a doggone what political party you come from. I don't care if you're Republican. I don't care if you're Tea Party. I don't care if you're even Constitutionalist or Democrat. I don't care. I care about the people you represent. And that's it. My concerns at the end of the day is how I am and what I do is going to affect the people sitting down at their dinner table. If their dinner table is at a home they own, if it's at a house they rent, or if it's at a community center. What have I done today to make their life at that table a little bit better, or did I do something to make it a little bit worse? What did I tell you about war? I refuse to answer the real question except for this. It is the very last thing and as far as I'm concerned, when both sides, one single soldier dies on either side, both sides lost. It is an evil, a very, very strong evil. And that's the way it is. It will be the last resort. I'm not going to be one that when I'm in Senate, no war, no war, no war. And then as soon as I doggone become president, oh, let's go to war. Well. He said he was going to change our status as far as the two wars in Afghanistan and Iraq. He sure did. Now we got three. And what's he doing? He's doing a half-ass, excuse the expression people, job. If you're going to do something, you either do it or you don't. You don't do halfway. Donald Trump, our country has far greater problems than whether or not Obama's birth certificate. And it will be handled in due good time. Understand. The election of 2010 put a stop to anything he can actually do. Look, look what's going on right now. <laughs> Basically stopping the whole government. It's not shutting down, it's stopping. That's what's happening. We got to stop it to turn it around. And the people out there know I do have the answers. Donald Trump, if you become my vice president, this I will guarantee you behind me, you will be president, or will be destroyed, trying, will die trying to turn this country around, trying to make it what our forefathers seen it. We have so much to do that, believe me, his birth certificate written and raving is insignificant to what the country needs. We all know there's a very strong possibility he's a fraudulent president. We all know that once it's proven one way or the other, everything he signs if it's after his term, is fraud and cannot be enforced. has to be re-ran through Congress and has to be signed by the current president. Who is it a fraudulent president? We all know all that. All I can promise everybody is I will look into the truth and find the truth, not just about Obama's birth certificate, but also about 9-11. Why are there these unanswered questions? And what are the true answers? Do we have molten lead metal at the bottom because there was explosions and the heat was held in? Or are they molten level because of the collapse? Which one is true? That. And we must find the truth. And then like Roswell, what is the reason if anything about it is true? We need to let that out. The people in this country are far more intelligent. They're not going to go berserk and crazy. Oh, aliens! If there is aliens, there's aliens. If there isn't, there isn't. Who cares? You know? Truth of the matter is, if we do have body alien bodies, as president, I would want to give them back to the aliens so that they can have them and do the proper final rituals that they do, whichever it may be. But for us to keep them, it would be just like keeping another human body just to study. No, unless you put it dedicated to science. Then we study you all you want. But you understand what I'm saying, Donald Trump and the rest of the country? In do 
good time. We have an economy that's just about ready, a lot of people saying for a double dip, and some saying worse than the Great Depression. Other people, we are now in three war wars. Why don't we just combine them and make it one war? We could call it the Asian War. Then we'd only be in one, wouldn't we? <laughs> no, that needs to be corrected. I, I applaud Obama on his ideal for going to Libya. I applaud him on that. But I totally disapplore how he did it. There's certain procedures that have to be followed. No one man in this country should under any circumstance be able to put this country in a war with another nation unless we are actually attacked physically. Sorry. That's the way I feel. That's too much power for any one person to have. I know what our military is. I know how powerful it is. That's way too much power. I would never take that responsibility on because I was a sailor, because I did do these things, and because I know war. And I know the strain on the American citizen. It is a very serious. So, no, I would never have done it the way he did. I do applaud him for his ideals, but I totally disagree with the way he did it, and I deplore how he did it. Sorry, that's the way I feel. Me, I would have done it completely different. But you see, in my cabinet would have been the Speaker of the House and the Senate Majority Leader, so they would already be know what we're talking about. <laughs> and they could take it to Congress for me. Because that's what I'd expect them to do. Say, look, this is what we're planning on doing. This is done in high secrecy because we can't let it be known. Should we or should we not? And then when he brings it back to me, we would discuss it. And if I need to go to Congress and meet with them, I would do that. Now, as far as shutting down the government, Congress would not want that. They shut down the government. <laughs> they better not plan on going home. Because that's the only thing that won't shut down. I will sequence them and keep them in Congress, both the House and Senate, until they got the problems fixed. That's their job. They're going to do it, whether they like it or not. Okay, Donald Trump, I heard you, hope you heard what I said. And Sarah Palin, I hope you did too. I would love either one of you to be my vice president. Understand, though, if you accept it, you accept a responsibility. And uh, how much? Look at what I had accomplished with the people who supported me. Shown this nation and had turned. The Tea Party exists because of what I did in 2008. No other reason. People are being shaken up when they start seeing the truth. They didn't believe it. They had to see it. Thank you. This is JD.